place the battery holder inside the gear case support and cut the wires to suitable length around about there. Strip both of the wires. And tin them using solder and a, sol and a soldering iron. Use solder to tin and soldering iron to tin the contacts on the switch. You only need to do four of these. Then solder your wires to the switch. Cut two lengths of wire, around about this long, for the uh, from the switch to the first motor, about that long. There we go. Twisting the, the wires. And then as before, as before, I'm tinning the wires. One, two. Attach the battery holder to the gear case support using some screws and some bolt nuts. Attach the Switch to the gear case support. In this case, I'm using some screws that I found. Support the motor onto a firm surface such as this melamine and push on the, the gear, on the, the worm gear, using your thumb until it almost but not quite touches the motor. Attach the um, gearbox motor to the gearbox assembly using the screws provided. What I'm also doing is I'm aligning the terminals of the motor, which I'll just show you. Now, these terminals to the same side as the shaft. Attach the gearbox to the support using some screws.
insert batteries into the battery holder. Turn the switch to the on position and connect the just temporarily connect the wires to the motor and from this view I want the motor to be turning clockwise this way cut two more wires so that you can connect between this motor and the one that will be located in the for the propeller and back there Solder these two wires to the motor. Insert the motor into the propeller support. Support the motor, the, the shaft especially, on a firm, firm base and press on the propeller. Like so. Check that it is clearance all around the propeller. Attach the uh, container for the bubble solution to the base using some, some suitable screws. Assemble the, the shaft to the disc using a hammer. Attach the gear case assembly to the base using some screws, nuts and washers. Attach the propeller assembly to the base using some screws and nuts and washers. Okay, here we go.
temporarily connect the wires from the motor, gearbox motor, to the propeller motor. And, and check that the propeller flows forward. Solder these wires to the propeller motor. And check if everything is still working. To make the bubble solution, you will need a cup of water, two tablespoons of dishwashing liquid, and two tablespoons of glycerin. Stir it all up, and it'll be ready to go. Pour the solution into the bubble blower. Turn on the power and see what happens.